Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. I shall just share my screen. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to talk very briefly about the Wikidata work that we're doing at the National Library of Wales. So this, it all started really about five years ago when Wikidata was still a really new project. Um, and initially the aim for us was simply to use Wikidata as a platform to give access to our open data, um, especially data for digital images that we were already sharing to Wikimedia Commons. Move on five years and there's now a lot of our data in Wikidata. Um, that includes 15,000 artworks, 30,000 books, entries for 5,000 people in the Dictionary of Welsh Biography, and lots of smaller date, uh, data sets and um, identifiers that are in some way connected to our collections. And as the volume of data that we've got in Wikidata has increased, so too have the connections between our collections and collections in other institutions. And right through the project, we've tried our best to focus on quality over quantity extracting as much information from possible as possible from our metadata. And this is an example of some of the data that we we're able to extract for our um, Welsh landscape collection that we shared to Wikidata. And right away, we realized that this process of mapping our metadata to Wikidata um, was going to have an effect of enriching our data. So the example I always use is that, for example, if you map place name tags from metadata to the entities for places on Wikidata, you of course get access to the coordinates and lots of other data about those places. And that allowed us to start depicting our collections on a map for the first time. And to use the Dictionary of Welsh Biography data as a bit of an example, you can see here the kind of data that we were able to extract from the, from the text and from the data that we had for the Dictionary of Welsh Biography. But of course, by putting it into Wikidata, not only do we know the name of the university that someone attended or um, the occupation that they had or the name of their parents, we have access to all the data about the universities, the occupation, the parents. So we've actually really enriched the data that we have um, through this process. And the structured nature of the linked data means that we can also begin to make connections between our collections. So we've shared data for artists, um, for artworks, for manuscripts. We've shared lots of authority file data to Wikidata. And we've done a lot of work around the Welsh, uh, the book trade in Wales. So publishers and printers. We've established that a lot of the people involved in those collections also appear in the Dictionary of Welsh Biography. And it's not just connections in our collections. Um, we've been able to establish through the use of identifiers on Wikidata that over a thousand people in the Dictionary of Welsh Biography also have an Oxford DMB entry. 400 have archives at the National Library. Um, 343 have portraits in the National Portrait Gallery. And Wikidata gives us those pathways, those connections between these collections. So we're now starting to see how we can use this extra data, round trip this data back to our own systems. So for the Dictionary of Welsh Biography, um, on our website, we're using, we're adding external links to articles um, directly from Wikidata. And we've just launched this new interactive timeline, which is based on Histropedia that we'll hear more about later. Um, and this again draws in, um, it's powered entirely by Wikidata and um, of course, then images from Wikimedia Commons and text from Wikipedia. Oops, uh, bear with me. I'd love to give you a demo of the, uh, the timeline, but I don't think we have time for that. Oh, it's gonna go through it every time. Okay, so challenges, other than my ability to manage PowerPoint. Um, I think the main challenges for me are the Technical aspects of mapping data to Wikidata. 
Now, documentation has got a lot better than it was when we started working with Wikidata, but it can still be difficult to understand how to process and upload large amounts of data to Wikidata. Um, I mainly work with spreadsheets, but others use OpenRefine, or if you speak Python, um, there are other ways of doing things, um, but it, there are certainly um, challenges to overcome them. It can also be difficult to ensure that you're describing things correctly on Wikidata. So there's great documentation for sharing artworks and how to describe artworks on Wikidata, for example. But we've come across other areas that are less well developed. So when we went to share lots of manuscripts, we had to create new properties, for example, in order to correctly describe the items on Wikidata. Um, and the richer the data you add, the more it will be enriched. That's really what we've learned about Wikidata. And the, the better the connections that you'll then make to other content. So often for an upload, this means not only mapping data to Wikidata, but often creating um, lots of new items that are not yet in Wikidata in order to support the main data set that you're sharing. So we've created thousands of items for artists, schools, government departments, all sorts of different things. Um, and for our Welsh literature project that we worked on recently, we created items for almost all the publishers that you see in the visualization here um, in order to have better data for the books that we were sharing um, on Wikidata. And we were able to also um, match and create a lot of items for authors um, by using data from OCLC and other um, sources, but this can be time consuming and it can't always be automated. In terms of the opportunities, um, there's so much that more that we could do, you know, given sort of unlimited resources uh, with Wikidata. But a few of the things that we're really keen to develop further, we're currently doing a lot of um, volunteer tasks, asking volunteers to tag the location of things depicted in images on Wikidata. Um, and we're using IIIF and storing that data on Wikidata. Um, so we've been doing a, tagging a lot of images like you see um, in the example here. And we want to take that to the, the next level. And we're now actually incorporating the use of Wikidata into our main crowdsourcing platform um, so that we, we store the Wikidata ID for things that our volunteers are tagging in all of our content. Um, and this could really be developed much further. You could explore the use of AI to identify and tag Wikidata entities in images and in text. Um, and this, of course, will give us access to a wealth of information from Wikidata. Finally, this is our linked data image browser. It's based on a website called Crotos that exists already. And it's been adapted to allow us to display and allow people to explore all our visual content that's in Wikimedia Commons and on Wikidata um, as linked data. And we really want to develop this idea um, further to offer our users new and improved ways of searching and discovering and just exploring um, all our digital assets. And ultimately, we want to have our own triple store or linked data in-house that can interact with Wikidata so that we can offer um, users services that are powered both by the authoritative metadata that we have, but also uh, the wealth of extra information that's available through Wikidata. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jason. Some wonderful images there and a real demonstration of that value of linking up to other people's collections. Um, we have two questions that have come through. One in the chat, which was answered by Shani, but I think it's probably worth asking um, in the room, as it were. Um, is Wikidata open to everybody? Uh, the answer, short answer is yes, it is. It's very much like Wikipedia. Anyone can edit, anyone can add new data, and anyone can reuse the data. It's licensed on CC0, so it's completely as, as about as open, as accessible as, as it gets. Right, thank you. And uh, in the Q&A, somebody has asked to, if you know how to explain the difference between Wikidata and Wikicommons. Um, so... Wikicommons is really a place to put um, media, you know, images, sound, video, um, and to describe them. Recently, Wikimedia Commons has started using structured data, which 
is very much like um, the data that's used on Wikidata. But Wikidata is purely about describing things, all sorts of things, entities um, using data. So there's very much a difference between the two. Great, thank you very much. Uh, oh, something else has just popped up in the Q&A. Um, how do you manage putting large amounts of rich data into Wikidata on a daily basis? <laughs> it's, it's difficult. Um, as I said, it can be quite time consuming um, because you, if you want really rich data, there is a kind of manual element of going through and, and matching things up by hand often. Um, we have a, a visiting scholar, a Wikidata visiting scholar who works with us to help us do some of our bigger uploads. Um, and we try and involve volunteers and the community as much as possible um, to try and help with some of that work. Great, thank you. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to move on because we've got a lot to pack in today and there are other questions, uh, Jason, that you might be able to tackle in the chat now that Great. you've uh, finished your, your presentation. Thank you very much. And thank I'll you. hand back to John for our next Mentimeter question. Great, thank you very much. So the next question, if you go to Mentimeter, is um, what kind of collection do you work with? I feel like it's a horse race and I feel like science was winning, but now art has overtaken it. <laughs> Great, so I'll leave that going um, and introduce our new speaker. So once, um, We'll probably do a roundup blog post, so we'll post the images of the Mentimeter um, on that. So keep it, keep edit, uh, so we keep adding people in. People, keep adding in the name of your collection or the type of collection. And so, and I'll introduce um, our next speaker, who is um, Emma Carroll, who works, uh, who worked on the um, using Wikidata alongside the survey of Scottish witchcraft um, at the University of Edinburgh. So.